Load shedding imposed to reduce energy subsidies, said Prime Minister. IT business incubator at Chuet inaugurated. More than 2,500 educational institutions to come under MPO. No standard education has been left out, says Education Ministry. Homebound passengers leaving capital for the second consecutive day ahead of Eid. Authority takes measures to avoid schedule crisis. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikus Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You are watching the headlines now. The details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that load shedding is going on across the country to reduce energy subsidies. She said this from now, there will be load shedding maintaining routine. She said this while attending the inaugural function of the country's first Sheikh Kamal IT business incubator at Chattogram University of Engineering through video conference from Ganu Bhabun today. Sheikh Hasina said that the country is moving forward by tackling the effects of Corona and Russia-Ukraine war. The incubator aimed to develop IT entrepreneurs and expand knowledge-based economy for building the smart Bangladesh by 2041 as the country has already materialized the Digital Bangladesh campaign. Newly 2,616 private known MPO educational institutions of the country's secondary and higher secondary education departments and technical and madrasa education departments have been registered as MPOs. This information was given in a notification sent from Ministry of Education in the morning. According to the Ministry of Education, 1,951 lower secondary and secondary level schools and higher secondary and degree colleges have been enrolled in the MPOs. At the technical and madrasa level, 65 educational institutions have been enrolled in MPOs. Each journey of the homebound passengers is going on for the second consecutive day today. Passengers expressed relief as the train left the station at the scheduled time. Advanced tickets have been sold at six railway stations for this year's Eid journeys. On the occasion of Eid al Adha, six pairs of special trains will be operated for the consecutive convenience of the passengers. Besides, return tickets will be on sale from July 7. RAB has arrested Nurul Amin, Managing Director of Amin Manufacturing Company and Fatima Amin in a case of incitement to suicide in connection with the death of a businessman by setting fire to his body. They were arrested from Uttara in the capital on Tuesday evening. Commander Khandukar Alum Moin, Director of Legal Wing and Media, held a press conference with Ghazi Anis today at RAB Media Center in Karwan Bazaar in the business dealings and investment of the Amin Fatima couple. Sell and purchase of sacrificial animals is in full swing in various farms and temporary markets of the country ahead of Idul Adha. The price of sacrificial animals will be a little higher this time as the price of cow meat is higher, said the farm owners. However, this time most of the buyers are leaning towards the farm rather than the markets. The sacrificial animals markets of the capital are also in full phase. Although the trade has not started in full swing, buyers are flocking to the market to see the bargains and the desired cows. The sellers are raising the prices of the animals that have been taken to the market so far. And the sellers claim that the sale will start within days or two before Eid. Monsoon is fairly active over Bangladesh and the moderate elsewhere over the country. 
Light to moderate rain or thunder showers accompanied by temporary gusty wind is likely to occur at many places over Dhaka, Maimun Singh, Khulna, Borishal, Chattogram and Selet divisions and at a few places over Rangpur and Rajshahi division with moderately heavy to very heavy falls to places over the country. Mild heat wave is sweeping over Rangpur division and the district of Rajshahi and it may abate from some places. Day temperature may fall slightly and night temperature may remain nearly unchanged over the country. Although flood water receded from the city of Silet, people of the rural areas are now trapped in the water. Many people do not have shelter as their houses are washed away. Tawhid Uddin Afridi, the director of MyTV and the best YouTuber in the country, has once again run beside these homeless people. He provided food, aid, clothes and educational materials to around 10,000 families with the assistance of the army, local people's representatives and several volunteer teams. He also provided cash assistance to build a mosque and to build houses for 10 homeless families. Now international news. Two of the United Kingdom's most senior ministers have resigned from the cabinet in the latest blow to Prime Minister Boris Johnson's leadership. Health Minister Sajid Javid and Finance Minister Rishi Sunak announced their resignations within minutes of each other on Tuesday, plunging Johnson's government into crisis weeks after the Prime Minister survived a no-confidence vote. The resignations, which were followed by similar announcements by several junior ministers, came as Johnson was apologizing for what he said was a mistake for not realizing that a former minister in charge of pastoral care was unsuitable for a job in government after complaints of sexual misconduct were made against him. In their resignation letters, both Javid and Sunak took aim at Johnson's ability to run an administration that adhered to standards. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Load shedding imposed to reduce energy subsidies said Prime Minister IT business incubator at Chuet inaugurated. More than 2500 educational institutions to come under MPOs. No standard education an institution left out said education ministry. Homebound passengers leaving capital for the second consecutive day ahead of it, authority takes measures to avoid schedule crisis. British Conservative government in crisis, Boris Johnson's two influential ministers resign. Novak Djokovic and Cameron Nori clinches men's single semi-final at Wimbledon Tennis. Tatjana Maria and Ons Jabir clinches women's singles. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old programs, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.